Good morning, guys. Guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? It's my birthday. Waiting for Eden's commentary in the back. Um, yes. So today is my birthday. Go me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The last like three birthdays have been kind of wiggity whack. Not in the sense of like the overall day, just the concept of getting older. And today, your girl fails guard. So, I'm going to just celebrate my birthday and enjoy myself. Today we are going to get the birthing pool, the darkness. We're going to go get our birthing pool to have a little man in. I made it to the day they are going to give me my pool, which means as of today, I can do whatever I want. No more bed rest, no more being in bed, lying around, binge watching Netflix. We're going to get the pool. Do you want to show everybody your birthday outfit? Yeah. So the girls for my birthday thought I was having a birthday party like they normally do and both picked out birthday outfits. So the Seedens, would you like to tell them what you're wearing today? I'm wearing a dress. I'm wearing a dress. In the, in the necklace. Yes, and what about your headband? Headband. Oh, a rainbow dash headband. A rainbow dash headband. Ooh, looking super cute. So that's Eden's outfit. Maya also picked out an outfit, and then she found out that I wasn't having a birthday party. So I don't know if she's gonna wear it later today or not, but they had outfits picked out, which I thought was really, really cute. And yeah, so yeah. we're gonna go get this pool and we will see you guys in a little bit. Why are we gonna put the pool? The girl's back. No tan. Are you excited? Yes. We got the pool. <laughs> it's official. <laughs> Heave. And get the pool. We got the pool. All right. So after waiting for half an hour, we got the pool. We got the pool. It's official. Eden is so excited. It's bonkers. But now we're gonna go set her up and see how she fits in our space. Let the fun begin! legs that big though to get in. I feel like that's a heftier climb. Yo, this top though, things have changed since 2014. Since our, look at, wait, will you fit in there with me? Oh, this is about to be a problem. Why is this thing so loosey goosey? Oh, all of that, man. Oh, that man. Ah, uh -huh. I'm coming. Oh yeah, we have space. Tub life. I'm never gonna be this happy. The next time you see me, this tub go, you guys. Okay. Oh, this is perfect. Come on. Look at this. What a. Oh, you're gonna be so squish up. I can. Are you gonna be comfy? It's 
not really about my comfort. I got a cup holder, so yeah. This is nice though, I just have my legs open, just pop them on out. Look, this guy's getting comfortable. So you're gonna have to only be able to fill the water to like here because once you get in, it's next level. But I literally like that I can squat. We're ready. Yeah. Born ready. You were born ready, eh? These handles are in the perfect place. Got my little handle. Can you guys see it? Got my cup holder. Kevin said he's gonna be using. It's gonna be where my ice water goes, my obsession. Yeah, this is nice. You're gonna have to get in like when I start to push. Jump in real quick. So the birth pool is ready. We have, um, they gave us like um, the this, the liner, a pump, and like some cleaning instructions. Mm -hmm. um, we're good to go, I'm hype. So I told her I wanna leave the bedroom doors just wide open. She said she has to have access to come and like check his heart rate from any point. And we're good to go, we still have enough room. I'm hype. We ready for the bird! Comment below if you know that track. If you know that track, you're a wicked subscriber. All right, guys, this is the end of our birthing pool fun. You know what? I actually am gonna get out. Oh, yeah, sorry, baby. And show you guys my birthday present from my husband. Okay, yeah, getting out of that is. An interesting situation. Okay, so can we? We're gonna leave it blown up for 24 hours. I'm leaving this thing blown up till he comes from. I guess we could technically do that, yeah. But more than 24 hours to make sure there's no holes or anything in it, and it's gonna be good to go. But this is where it's gonna be. So we're gonna pop her in the corner of our room, and we're ready. So my whole plan for this is that I'm gonna be able to basically birth between our shower and the bathroom to the tub and then go directly to the bed. That's the plan, but as mummies know, things barely ever go as planned. But if they do, turn up. So I'm gonna actually share with you guys my closet. I don't think I've done this yet because I've been slacking on the vlogs. You guys, I apologize. The last couple of weeks have been rough. All right, that's all you need to know. So I have made um, like a shelf for my midwife. Wow, that was really in my face. I have made a shelf for my wooden midwife. I can't speak. For my midwives slash my husband slash my mom and my sister who are all gonna be here for all of the essentials that I'm going to need while in labor. Um, it just makes it easier. There's no questions asked when I'm in labor. Like, oh, where is this? Where is that? Don't ask me questions because I'm not trying to talk to you. I'm not trying to hear you. I'm trying to birth, you know? So this is it. So I have um, this liner is to go underneath the birthing pool. It's just so that if there is any water that comes out of the tub, my carpet doesn't get mash up. I got some of these sexy diaper pads along with a larger, like this is just a large pad. I, it's so large, I don't even wanna show you guys. And then I got the regular, <laughs> the regular large pads in the purple, always maxi. Um, these are uber common for post pregnancy. So I feel like if you don't know about these, definitely at least get yourself one pack because you are going to need them. Um, Gatorade is my favorite thing while birthing. Uh, my mom bought me a 12 pack last time with Eden, I believe. So a six pack is going to do for now. And like I said, I love ice water. So this is just to keep my electrolytes up and my energy good. I have my witch hazel for post delivery with some of these little cotton ovals. Um, and that's just to relieve any swelling or pain that I have in my sensitive areas, you know what I'm saying? I got the Advil for post delivery. You can't have this good stuff during pregnancy, so I'm really excited to be able to have my Advil again. I hate Tylenol, it's whack. Um, I have some face gloss for my little man. I have face gloss for myself. Uh, some flannel blankies for him, wiping him off after. Uh, we have our GoPro ready to go, some breast pads, 
and there's going to be some extra stuff added to my little shelf but for now that's what I got so I asked Kev for my birthday um, this year for two different things because my birthday is around Mother's Day it either falls on Mother's Day which is whack or it's a couple of days before so this year it's a couple of days before and I asked for two things um, a care package for post delivery as either a birthday gift or a Mother's Day gift and to get my nails and my toes done I have been slacking on taking care of myself and just like maintaining the cuteness that is Alicia, you know? So I need to get back to all of that and having my nails done, ladies you know, is just one of those things. Like you feel fly when your nails and your hair are done, okay? And I haven't been getting my hair done, so I need to get my nails done. So Kev got me. I need to show you guys what the girls got me actually because the girls got me some really thoughtful gifts. I'll show you what Kevin got me for my care package. Ladies, feel free to steal this idea because I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda genius. I basically gave him a list of stuff that I still need to put in the closet and then like some personal stuff for myself too and then he just did his own thing and he nailed it, he nailed it, he nailed it. So I'm a card person, I love cards. I feel like I always say this, but I don't care. It's my thing. If you know me, you know. Cards are my thing. So Kev skipped the card this year and he got me this book. If I have any gentlemen that are still watching the vlog at this point, get your wife this book, okay? It's called Why I Love You and it's a journal of us. I don't know where he got it, so I can't help you, but he basically filled out all of our memories from when we were like 17 until now and it is the sweetest, most amazing thing. I was laughing so hard reading this that I started crying. Like, obviously happy tears, but like, it was hilarious. We have some funnier memories. Twizzlers, these are one of my favorite snacks. I've acquired this favorite from my mom. She loves Twizzlers and, or she loved Twizzlers at least when I was little. She's on a health kick now, so she might not, but I love Twizzlers because of that. So Twizzlers. We got Tylenol, um, a fun fact for you guys, for all my mummies, uh, post delivery, especially after your first baby, the uterus contractions <laughs> after are a bitch, like it was worse than being in labor for me. I'm not exaggerating, it was seriously that bad. I bawled so bad after I had eaten. I think it was like day two, I just looked at Kevin like I felt so helpless and I was in so much pain and I didn't know what to do and I wasn't taking anything. So my midwives told me I can go between Advil and Tylenol every four hours. So I have my Advil that you guys saw and now I have my Tylenol and my husband got me the rapid release gels. So extra strength, he was looking out. He knows I need that shit. Ironically, I can deliver babies naturally, but I can't deal with the after pain, so. Um, he got me these hanging clips for photos, and to be honest, the colors match our son's room, so I might just put these in his room as he grows, because I think this would just be mad cute, if not in the playroom for the kids, so I can hang up their art, because... I'm a cordy mummy. Y'all need comfy clothes after you deliver, okay? Remember I said this, you need comfy clothes. Um, and black is key. So Kev got me black because, let's just be honest, I've had a period in nine months. It's about to rain, it's about to pour, it's about to be serious. And black, you can't damage. So he got me these jammies and they say mummy life and the battery is well empty. That's about to be my life. And he got me some period panties because ladies, you need these. All of my panty, I don't have no regular, like, what are these called, briefs? I would just call them granny panties. I don't have no regular granny panties and at least any that I wanna mash up with team granny panties. We got some Epsom salts for those baths after, especially if you tear, thank me later. Epsom salts and Epsom baths, or sits baths, whatever you want to call them, are a necessity of life. 
hot cold therapy because I've been complaining about my knees sleeping at night has been a sick joke for me like my joints are killing me so my husband was looking out for me when he got this for sure it goes around your knees legs arms and shoulders he came clutch with the package what can I say man came clutch she knew what he was doing and I'm gonna quickly show you guys what the girls got me this is the first year where I think they got to kind of pick their own personalized gifts for me which was really cool because they got especially Maya got me something really meaningful and it like made me emotional so <laughs> you probably won't even understand why but I'm gonna share it with you guys Eden got me this water bottle it has a straw so during this pregnancy I have been obsessed with straws in fact I will only drink out of straws like I just like drinking out of straws I don't know why or how this has happened but it's so good and she loves emojis so turn up this will fit perfectly in the tub cup holder and Maya got me this little elephant mug so I drink tea literally every single day um, I'm actually gonna make a video about third trimester or labor and delivery prep and I'll share with you guys the tea that I'm drinking right now but I drink tea every single day and Maya thought it was appropriate to get me a teacup and on top of getting me a teacup she got me an elephant cup and it's because the theme of our little man's room is actually elephants so I thought it was uber thoughtful that this is what she got me like it's just so sweet and the benefits of being a mommy I swear I also got this handmade bracelet it's pretty freaking cool and I got this handmade bracelet also really cool and I swear I got another bracelet Eden stole it and I got my homemade card. So I hoard all of my cards literally since like I was, I think I have cards from like four and up. Um, but tell me this isn't amazing. I don't know if you guys are able to read it, but at the bottom it says from your angel, from your little angel, Amaya. <laughs> she added everyone else after too, but it says from your little angel. And I was like, well, don't you think highly of yourself? So that was, my birthday fun and what I got from my amazing family this birthday has been wonderful thus far I'm really excited for what my last year in my 20s has to bring me we will see how this goes so I don't know if I'm gonna continue on from this vlog because it's already uber long like I've filmed a lot for today so if I don't have anything else to vlog for the day um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog for all my mummies who are delivering and hoping or wanting or intrigued by the idea of a home birth. Know that my delivery story is coming your way and I hope the birthing pool setup and some of the tips that I have for you and share with you guys today were really helpful. I will see you guys in my next video. Toodles! Mm -hmm.